previously on this season of America's Most Smartest Model. I'm Mary Alice Stevenson, and I'm searching for America's Most Smartest Model. Marianne. It's Mary Alice. People look up to us on these billboards and say, I want to be like that. People die to be us, bro. Andre somehow takes modeling more serious than anyone in the house. He was so weak. It's Fine. teamwork, ass. You will annoy many people in your life unless you shut up. You, dude. Why? Andre's temper is explosive. It's all hypocrisy. I will not tolerate you being disrespectful to others. 15 Americans against one Soviet. Hmm. It's going to be interesting. We are looking for the one person who possesses the maximum amount of beauty and brains. I am the perfect balance of brains and beauty. No question. You've been modeling. Just started. Is your family native-born Americans? No. We're all from California. Northern. Northern California. Little nerves are there. I wasn't listening. Where's that book that you guys it's had? It's being hidden. It's being hidden? Dude, you hid the encyclopedia. This is a competition. I want to win, and I will do what it takes. VJ, this picture is all about you. VJ set me up. He picked the weakest link because he's not going to be the one that looks bad. He's listening to lines. I don't appreciate snakes and cheaters. You think that that is sneaky? I think no. that's smart. <laughs> It is my mission to take Vijay out. Tonight, we dying in hell! Andre is my number one competition. Is that what your fiance looks like? Vijay's a pig. Can I knock the <laughs> guy out? Come on! I can take it! Come on! I can take Vijay, you're next, buddy. And bow! Bow to the king! Failure against Andre is not an option. That's skipping. That's not running. Everything about this guy is cheating. You will be a spokesmodel for an all-new Jaguar XKR. Oh, God. I just went blank. It is not a car. It is a vehicle. The Jaguar's design is its language. Oh, I nailed it. Andre, congratulations. This is a great picture. Thanks. I'm watching VJ copying my every single move. He thinks you copied him, did you? Absolutely not. I really think VJ might be a little bit of a pathological liar. Sometimes the most beautiful people are not the most successful models. I'm so sorry, Angela. You today were not model enough. Congratulations, VJ and Andre. You are headed back to the mansion where Ben will be preparing your final challenge, and we'll see you on the finale. We're end up killing each other before the show is over. <laughs> Just Andre and I. I'm so ready, though, for whatever it is they have in store for us. Your last challenge is to create a five-minute multimedia presentation. Yeah. Oh, my god. There is no way this guy is going to beat me, not on a presentation. I think you want to leave him, not with you dissing somebody else. This doesn't look good at all, because I could barely speak proper English. You look like a fool, even though you know what you're talking about. This is the finale, my last stand as a Soviet, as a model. Oh, crap. You got five minutes, though. You know, what do you want to leave them with? Um, the final challenge is a PowerPoint presentation, and that is just nerve-wracking to me. It seems impossible. No, five should be the thing that you said. Like, no, 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 because... Yeah, that's kind of lame. Poor Kathy's trying to keep me focused, and uh, I can't seem to pull myself together. We need to spend some time trying to map out an outline. Absolutely. A lot of information that we got to get out. Got to build a good, strong case of being America's most smartest model. How long have you been modeling? You said five you're months. the five months. Really? Yeah. What kinds of things have happened that will help me sort of understand why you're here? Being strategic in in this competition has gotten me here. In one instance, I was given time cards to pass out to different models. The one minute goes to Daniel, one of the smartest models in the house. I gave him one minute with an ostrich, and he had to get a good photo. And how did he do? Oh. OK. There you go, 15 seconds. Work it, D. He was eliminated. So your plan worked. Yeah, everybody needs to vanish in order for there right. to be one person left. Right. And I couldn't get rid of that. 
your strongest traits are? Networking, communication. Can you get a car Can I just pull all of them out? <laughs> VJ, I am exist. very, very impressed. OK, communication, that's excellent. Do you think there's one single thing you've done that's the best? My Jaguar presentation. Okay. I need you to give me information about a 2007 Jaguar XKR. They never said you cannot call anybody to get information. The Jaguar, its design is its language, and this one is talking to us saying, open the door. The road is your oyster. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2007 XKR Jaguar. I brought the house down. I'm a far better salesman than he is. Good. I know this. I could talk about this car on and on and on. Five minutes won't be enough. But what can I say about that? Tell me about the conflicts that you've had with Andre. We'll show him maybe um, disrespecting a woman, which will be not, won't be hard to find. I want you to go in my room and pick a sock and put his balls and his penis in it. He doesn't have to do that. Shut up. We're going to be very Do what I say. Fine. This sort of more negative stuff doesn't matter a lot. I need it to be you. Right. Stay, yeah. keep the focus on you. It's about me. This is about why I am America's most smartest model, not about why he shouldn't be. I'm really excited. Yeah, me too. Nervous, excited. And yeah, good. nervous uh, and excited. <laughs> so what you were saying? Do you want to do an outline, or do you want to start working on images, or should we get our ideas, and then we can supplement with images? My head is just all over the place. My thoughts, and it's just, I, I'm just so lost, and um, um, I just got to come up with something better than just presenting myself. Andre, you have won the Edge Challenge. To help you out, we've got a little treat for you. Suddenly, my head begins to clear, and this amazing idea comes into my mind. It is a Sony Ericsson mobile phone. You can make calls to your friends, calls to your friends. I was so excited, dude. This is awesome. Hello. Pickle. Yo, it's Andre. Who? I have a brilliant idea. Andre, the Russian. Yo, what's up, man? Yeah, that's great pitching and talking about myself. But what's better than that is having a fierce, ruthless opponent presenting you. Tomorrow's the last competition in where I, sh I have to say, why should I be America's most smartest model? Dude, I know where I get this call from Andre. And I'm like. And da 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 da. And I was like, I want to call Pickle and I want Pickle to make my presentation. Help you win the show? What? Presentation? What? And of course, Andre's speaking so fast and he's rushing. I was like, what? It, it, dude, it's, it's big. It's a big thing, bro. It's a big thing. Honestly, Andre for me was a foe in the beginning. Did you see my abs? I want to go over there and eat those sandwiches, but guess what? I'm not going to. Bro, I had three sandwiches. Am I a bad model because yeah. I don't not eat ever? Like, Andre and I butted heads. I wanted to, like, kill the kid. I was so annoyed with him. I don't like oh. models like that. I don't yeah. like yeah. models like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was like, I know that. I don't. Yeah. I'm like, well, I'm like, I don't like well, you. credits. He didn't quite figure out what humbleness meant. He has changed the most over the show. He understands a little now. It really bothers me, the entire house being against me. OK, so how are you going to make the best of the situation you're in now? And uh, dude, this is like. How do you get along with people? I still in this expect, house? you know, you know Pickle to, to apologize, you know, but uh. Ah! You gotta apologize for the disrespect. Okay, so I apologize. Maybe the Russian is wrong. I think that I kind of got into his head a little bit, and he kind of understood where I was coming from, and we made some like headway. I want to apologize for name calling. I did. I called you an Adonis, even though that. Oh no! Please that do call me Adonis. No, 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 he really did change a lot. I was proud of him, actually. I was really proud of him. Bro, are you down to... Yeah, sure. So Andre needs me, man. I'm there. I haven't really done any massive public speaking before, but um, I'm, I'm comfortable speaking. I'm ADHD clinically. I was put on Ritalin. My mom said I have like an oversized adrenal gland. I find it equal. It's interesting you say it, because I, I do the high fashion thing. I've done a lot of commercial print. So I ride the line of... Pickle, answer, answer the, the question. question. This could be kind of cool. 100% you down. I love you, bro. If I couldn't win myself, I'd want him to win over VJ. I'll, I'll send you all the material, bro. I can't wait to see VJ's face, man. He's gonna freaking die. VJ's gonna have a seizure. I love it, I love it. It's like the same day when I saw Daniel just <laughs> Now it's gonna be VJ. All right. All right, man, I'll see you tomorrow. Love you, bro. Peace. It's gonna be amazing. <laughs> oh, you just hit the Soviet wall, brother. VJ, you're about to have the shuck of your lifetime.
coming up. If I have to stay up all night, that's what I'm going to do. How hot is that? That's good. VJ, I'm going to beat you on your own game. I can't wait to see the look on DJ's face. Yeah, you're probably wondering why I'm here. <laughs>
That is a huge, awesome. huge screen. I am America's most smartest model. We each got our own room like we were actors, you know, getting ready for Broadway. There's a new lesson to learn every day, and when that occasion rises. And immediately, I just, bam, cue cards. I have to practice, 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 so when I get up there with all those nerves, I don't completely choke. I can accomplish anything. More than anything, I want the judges to like me and feel as if they know me. Because if they like me, then they feel that I'll deserve it. Look like a gosh damn Kennedy. <laughs> And there he is, my boy, Jeff Pickard! Anyway, this, you seen this yet? No, I haven't seen it. All right, take me through this. Okay. Pickle is so scared. He's like, okay, okay, so what are, what are we doing? Oh my god, oh my god, how long do we have? He's like, dude, don't even worry about it. If anyone could sell anything to you, you could sell freaking water to a whale. <laughs> All right. I feel like Andre was just throwing it in my lap, like, here, dude, we're gonna win. I'm like, what, you know? I was just nervous because I really didn't have much time to prepare. It's like a four-page presentation, a slide thing. I've never even used one of those. Great, now him winning, like, is falling on my shoulders, which is like a lot of pressure. Andre comes from a family of intellectuals and diplomats. Um, these people have been very influential and, and shaped Andre's character. There's a little lost in translation for Andre. He still doesn't get the whole, like, you know, less is more thing. His timing with words, not the best. Pickle, I trust you completely, bro. I know you pull it off. Don't want to worry about it. So I think it was smart to have me speak his thoughts. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, VJ and Andre. How are you feeling today? Wonderful. Good. Good. Well, gentlemen, it all comes down to this. Both of you are about to make a five-minute presentation to tell us why you think you deserve to be America's most smartest model. Here to help judge the intellectual aspect of your presentation are two very smart guys. Uh, on my far left is Dr. Leonard Efron. He is a genuine rocket scientist. I'm so excited! The guy loves rockets, just like me. To my immediate left is Phil DeMuth, psychologist, writer, investment advisor, extraordinaire. And gentlemen, my very smart and fashionable guests are Monique Lulier, who at an extremely young age built a fashion empire. She dresses everyone from Reese Witherspoon to Jessica Alba to Scarlett Johansson. The fashion people, all I have to do is just tell them what I've been working with and what I've been doing, and that should be enough. And this dapper gentleman to my right is Cameron Silver. Cameron was voted by Time Magazine as one of the most influential people in fashion. He is a writer, a connoisseur of fashion, and the owner of the Vintage Couture Boutique Decades. You know, I need to impress the smarties more than I do the fashion, because I lack the education credentials. All I need to do for fashion-wise is just make my stage presence loud and demand their attention. We have been honored to work with you over these last many weeks. Good luck to you both. Thank Good you luck, so much. Tom. It is incredible how much better they, they look, look fantastic. in suits and ties oh, okay. than they did in all those. They gangster. look good then too. So, okay, I'm first. Now the nerves come in. Get it out. So here he is, potentially America's most smartest model, VJ. Ah, <laughs> shall we begin? This is all I've got, is this one presentation to prove myself. And if I blow it, I don't get another chance. Strive to win, the definition of compete. My name is Van Jameson Lingenfelter Logan, and I am America's most smartest model. If everybody is thinking alike, then somebody isn't thinking. George S. Patton. So I started out strong. Audio, please. Go to my first clip, and the audio doesn't work. Audio, please. Here I'm on a conversation with my friend getting information about the Jaguar XKR. Good old VJ thinks on his toes, recovered like a champ, and just kept on rolling. Cheating 
I think not. Adapting, using my resources, and staying ahead of the pack. I come to a competition, the youngest contestant and the least experienced model. I don't know everything. Nobody does. Ben, you're actually pretty close. So what I've done is I've listened. I just might be the dog to follow. And if I was, I would be a Labrador Retriever. Strong, reliable, and highly intelligent. Unlike my opponent, a little more like a Rottweiler. You never know when this guy is going to snap. He's pretty much useless unless you want the Rottweiler to uh, eat your baby. <laughs> and I know that there's room to grow. There's room to show that there's room to move. And I move to rise and wise up when life's tough because it is survival of the fittest. Ladies and gentlemen, I am America's most smartest model. Thank you very much. Thank you, BJ. So I finished my presentation. Little, you know, mistakes here and there. But I got through it, and I feel good. Andre's up. And really, can the guy present better than me? There's no way. All right, let's do it. I can't wait to see the look on DJ's face when Pickle gets on the stage. It's going to be amazing. It's going to win all the money that I just blow on. Potentially America's most smartest model, Andre. <laughs> Good afternoon, good afternoon. Throughout the entire competition, they were sent to us curveballs after uh, curveballs. And I believe that is my duty to uh, give you a curveball right back at you. And it's my great pleasure. I'd like to introduce you a good friend of mine and a fierce competitor, Jeff Pickle. Pickle! Come here, brother. A little taste of their own medicine. Let's go, brother. <laughs> Enjoy it, okay? From Soviet with love, baby. Coming up. Pickle. Yeah, you're probably wondering why I'm here. <laughs> what the <laughs> What a <laughs> coward. And later. I think we need to hear more, frankly. Those things can change. <laughs> what did I just say? <laughs> Throughout the entire competition, they were sent to us curveballs after uh, curveballs. So I, I finished my presentation. But then Andre comes out, and he's, he's so confident. And it's my great pleasure. I'd like to introduce you a good friend of mine and a fierce competitor, Jeff Pickle. Pickle! Oh. Wow. Next thing you know, he presents Pickle. And I'm thinking it's a joke. Good to see you, Pickle. Good to see you back, Pickle. Yeah, you're probably wondering why I'm here. <laughs> what the Where'd that guy come from? Why are you here? <laughs> you know, I'm really here in support for who I think uh, deserves to be America's most smartest model. I was one of Andre's fiercest competitors. I was one of Andre's biggest enemies at times. We've moved past all of our differences, and I'm here in full support of, of Andre. And I was like, wow, pretty freaking sneaky. I applaud you for pulling that off, but how'd you do that? I want to give you a look as I see Andre uh, through my eyes. Let's start with Andre's background. Andre was born in Moscow. Andre comes from a family of diplomats and intellectuals. His father is an international criminal lawyer. His mother worked for the UN in New York City. You would need someone else to I'm thinking, what a coward. You can't compete against me on your own, so you bring someone else in? By age 18, Andre had already been to 20 countries, and Andre speaks five different languages. I barely speak English. He was a forensic psychology major, mired in international criminal justice. Didn't graduate. I am now backstage, watching Andre actually just stand on the front of the stage, just looking at the judges, while Pickle does his presentation for him. He had a wonderful opportunity to work with boss models, He's also with the world-renowned agency, Next. He's worked with famous photographers, Eric Fisher, Stephen Klein, Bruce Weber, Nigel Barker, Nathaniel Goldberg. I tend to be a little long-winded with my, you know, speaking. And I was trying to make it, like, short and to the point. Campaigns, Converse, PF Flyers, the fashion powerhouse DKNY, Jordache Jeans, Rockaware, Shady Limited, and Saks Fifth Avenue. This 
is brilliant at its best. The kid knows his stuff. I mean, knows my stuff. Pico is killing. This is the tanning lotion competition. It took a person who's never even probably shot a professional photo in his life, and he looks like the kid could be a model. Andre took first place here. We had a photo shoot with an animal. Andre got stuck with only two minutes to do the photo shoot. Andre pulled off the winning shot. He's just so cool, and he just believes in the product. Oh, my God, I am the product. The big message here. Thank you, brother. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, no, I'll no, take no. it from here yeah. uh, for a brief second. I'll take it from here, Pickle. I'm like, oh, God, I was like, gold. Modeling, it's not only about looks. Really, it's about you and who you are. And I mean, numerous times I've heard Mary Alice telling to the uh, previous contestants, oh, it's not about whether you're gay, black, white, you, or you're fat. Those things could change. What did I just say? It's not about whether you're gay, black, white, you, or you're fat. Those things could change. Not good. Those things could change. That's not what I meant. I meant it doesn't matter. Does not matter. That's what I was trying to say. And it all went to Well, actually, I'm pretty sure if you're gay, that's your way of life. And I'm pretty sure if you're black, you don't have a choice. He just does not think about what he's going to say. He just starts talking, puts his foot in his mouth. You could win without being sneaky, without lying. That's what happened with my other contestant. I'm not sitting here to, to uh, bash him, but um, there's, there's, there's no way I'm gonna sit and condone something like that. This is not what modeling is all about. I'm like, did this just happen? I wanted to kind of like get a cane and pull him off. So in the end, I do think Andre's a champion, and I do think Andre has made leaps and bounds, and that's exactly why I'm here tonight. Support him. Thank you, brother. Thank you so much. Wow. That was interesting. Thank you, Andre. Thank you, Andre. So, my presentation, it was beautiful. Best of luck. Thank you very much. Andre. Cool. Thank you very much. Always a pleasure, man. Thank you so much. You sneaky bastard. Thank you. Best see you, bro. Good to see Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you, so much, you very much. Overall, the presentation went good. It went smooth. We both looked sharp. We'll see how it pans out. That was clever, though. I tip my hat to that, you sneaky son of a bitch. So, Ben, we, we've seen both presentations. Let's start with your distinguished guest's views on VJ and Andre. I found that VJ was very personable, very, gave me the impression of being a person, very motivated and very believable. He kept my interest throughout the entire presentation. Phil, what's your thought about this? In VJ's case, I loved his metaphor of the golden retriever versus the Rottweiler. Mm -hmm. I thought that showed good abstract thinking ability, but I thought it was a very smart adaptation on Andre's part to say, you know, my language skills in English, you know, it's a fifth language for me. They're not maybe as good as they should be. Why don't I bring in somebody else to sell me so I don't have to sell myself? What a clever way in terms of thinking out of the box because I never would have anticipated the style and approach that he used. So, thank you, Bill. Thank start you, with you. Who would you rather see in one of your vintage couture Yves Saint Laurent men's suits? I think Andre is a little groovier, I have to say. I kind of like the edge that he has. And, and he's intellectually edgy because he chose this uh, alternative presentation. Great. Thank you, Cameron. So, Monique, who would you rather see in your clothes? I think I would rather see VJ in my clothes. You know, he's very chic together and polished, and that's kind of the look that I do, so I would have to choose him. Wow, this is a tough one. It's a very tough one. You know, I, I can't stand the way VJ keeps calling that car a Jaguar, like it was yeah. related somehow <laughs> to Mr. McGuire. But other than that, I thought his performance was absolutely perfect. With that being said, Andre did his, his presentation what was much more developed. There's a lot of points in the presentation. Well, his thought, growth since yeah. the Jaguar has been unbelievable. Unbelievable. But Andre did incorporate the show me, not tell me, into his presentation. I think we may actually bring them back without pickle in the middle of it, just the two of them head to head. Great suggestion, Ben. VJ, Andre. All right. Hello, hello, hello. Thank you very much. Congratulations, VJ and Andre. We know how hard you worked, and so good work. I think we need to hear more, frankly. I'd like to hear you just discuss that the essence of 
modeling success is not face or figure beauty, but strength of character. Okay, so Ben now wants me and a douchebag over here to debate. Fine by me. Go ahead, shoot. It's not only about being beautiful. And it's not only about being smart, which is key. It's who you are as a person. It's how much you can achieve. You can go to school for a long time, but that doesn't necessarily make you the smart person. VJ, you have cheated and you have lied over and over again. Andre, do me a favor and don't interrupt. Sorry. You're not supposed to be yelling at each other. You're discussing an abstract proposition. So, VJ. I am a very unexperienced model with only five months, but I am here, and I think this is what speaks for itself. I've proven my point by standing at this podium today. Thank you very much, VJ. Well done. Comrade. Sir, well, I have learned so much in this competition. I, I already won. It's not really about the money. I have learned to understand other people. I have learned to follow advice. Whether I win or lose today, I did it the fair way. What it bothers me is um, the message. God forbid he wins. It is a message that I do not want my children to see. I disagree with every every single thing that he, he done throughout the entire competition. What, he cheated. What are you talking about, Andre? He cheated. He cheated the entire competition. Andre starts talking about what a cheater I am, how I shouldn't be up here with him, how I have no integrity or, you know, now I'm a bad person. And I'm like, yeah, bad move. You really shouldn't have done that. That I would leave here as a message. It is integrity, respect for people. And I am America's most smartest model, buddy. Well, we're going to thank you very, very much. You've done beautifully. Thank you both. And we will see you, Andre VJ, back at the mansion tonight, where we will find out who is America's most smartest model. Thank you guys, it's been a pleasure. Thank you all very much. Thank you. I don't know what's going to happen tonight. This is the final elimination. I have went so far and I've learned so much. We'll see. I've already succeeded so much, so I feel good just for being here. And after the presentation, I feel even better. He choked, man. Andre, he choked big time. Coming up, this is a dream about to become reality. I can only wish and hope and pray that I leave here tonight $100,000 richer. Clearly, you are the best model. But it's not just about modeling. You did what he wanted to do. If anything, it was almost cowardly. I'm not nervous, not at all. Everything was a plan. He cannot beat me. This is it, final elimination. I'm not nervous, not at all. Every single challenge, I proved myself, so uh, this is a dream about to become reality to me. Sir, how are you, sir? Fine, thank you. Right now, I'm nervous. There's too many emotions. I can only wish and hope and pray that I leave here tonight $100,000 richer. Welcome, gentlemen. Gentlemen, let's just plunge right in. It's down to the last two, and a selection is to be made. My heart is 100 miles an hour. VJ, you had the least experience coming in to this competition. And although I thought you were great looking, I was concerned that you'd be able to stay in the competition. I was concerned that you weren't going to be model enough. But you got better every challenge. You used your smarts to watch the other models, to grow. VJ, I now see a model standing before me. I've learned throughout this entire competition that there is so much to learn. And I am very proud of myself for making it this far. This, I think, would be an excellent reward for all of my accomplishments. Andre, comrade. I was kind of impressed from the minute I saw you by your energy, a kind of a mad demon of energy inside you. At the beginning, uh, you were really annoying or scaring your fellow models out here. and They sort of all piled on you. You handled it manfully. You got to make friends. You got them all on your side. And you gave up trying to antagonize them. And that was very smart. 
I did uh, try to understand and see things through their eyes, and I toned down, I made alliances, and I want people to see that you could play by the rules and win. Ben, any thoughts on the PowerPoint presentations? I, I had a lot of thoughts on the PowerPoint presentations. I, I thought that VJ's was like a sales presentation, but very, very good sales presentation. And to have done it in the amount of time he had was excellent. And uh, I thought it worked incredibly well. Uh, I thought Andre's was more daring. Andre rolled the dice. He took a huge gamble. And choosing Pickle was a stroke of genius. It had its good points and bad points, but it was a stroke of genius because it addressed your major weakness, which was your likability. You said, all right, I'm gonna prove to you I'm likable. We've got somebody we know you all like, Pickle. Bring him out and prove my likability. I gamble $100,000 on Pickle. I, 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 I don't job. think you could have done it any better. I pushed everyone's limits. Everything was a plan. Everything was psychology. I think I did well. I'm here for a reason. VJ, what did you think of Andre using Pickle for his presentation? He did what he wanted to do. I thought that, um, if anything, it was almost cowardly. That's pretty strong language. You're breaking my heart. Yeah, right? I mean, if anything, he said, well, I can have him come in. And I said, well, wow, he knows that he cannot beat me if he was giving this presentation himself. How dare you? You talk to me about being a coward, bro? Do you have any idea what a coward is? You are a coward, buddy. You worship me, man. He does not have the ability to present like I do. It's only his modeling that took him this far. I'm here because my modeling as well as my brains. I gambled $100,000 because I was secure. And for me to have someone that was a competitor a pitching fighting for me to win, that brilliance at his best. You have the modeling down cold. You have the spirit down cold. Clearly, Andre is the best model. Thank you. When Mary Alice acknowledges Andre as the best model in the competition by far, my heart dropped, you know, because he really was the best model, but it's not just about modeling. And now it comes down to agony for Mary Alice and me, as usual. To take that title away, I think I will prove so many people wrong. I had people saying, oh, we hope VJ doesn't win. If VJ wins, I'm jumping off a bridge. It's like, you know what? I, maybe that's jealousy. Maybe they just wish they could fill my shoes. I deserve this. I am America's most smartest model. I can almost hear my heart pounding into my lungs. Everything is standing still except my heart. It really all came down to this moment. The Russian against the American. Who will be? Coming up. You grew in leaps and bounds. You have staved off defeat and vanquished your enemy. You are America's most smartest model. And now it comes down to agony for Mary Alice and me, as usual. Only one of you can be America's most smartest model. And so, gentlemen, like the Red Army at the Battle of Stalingrad in February of 1943, VJ. You have staved off defeat and vanquished your enemy. You are America's most smartest model. I couldn't have done it without an incredible competitor. And that is the right spirit. Comrade, thank you so much. Thank you, you are for dismissed, great and thank you for all we've learned thank from you. you. I will see you in New York, Andre. Good day. Good luck, comrade. VJ has won the competition. Um, I wish him the best. I wish him the best, and uh, it was it was great. It was an interesting th journey, but it was meant to be. And I have played the game well with honor and integrity. And uh, it's very sad because he spits, he curses, he coughs, he cheats, he lies. Come on.
Anytime you miss me, just look into a magazine. Sylvie! <laughs> VJ, the reason that you are standing here now is that you were a quick study. You learned to break the mold, and you grew in leaps and bounds. After seeing you deliver in the Jaguar competition, I honestly thought we've discovered a star. Not only are you going to be featured in an ad campaign for Extreme Style by VO5, but you also get this as a portfolio. Inside are all of your pictures from the show where you can track how you've grown as a model. Here is your portfolio. Thank you so much. Great photos. Hi, VJ. How are you? So, you've been modeling? For six months, five months, just started. As a smart model, I know that after a long, grueling day on a fashion shoot, there's nothing more relaxing than a nice hot shower. I would totally buy that product from you. And that's why VJ is the winner. Congratulations, VJ. Welcome to your Edge Challenge, VJ. Right. Do you recognize any anyone in this room? Like Victoria and Rachel and Robert. Good job, VJ. Hey, you did a great job tonight, and I think you're hungry for this competition. Thank you. Marty? Basically, you figured out, you know, what the consumer's like, who's going to buy that car, what our audience is like, and you really talked to it, and I think you did a great job. You burned this mother down. It was incredible. So this is a guy, he's not a guy who went to Harvard or Yale. He used to be a butcher, and he's done well at every competition, and today he just blasted the thing out of the ballpark. Congratulations, you did a fantastic job. Thank you. Thank you, Mary Alice. AMSM. And in the back of this wonderful portfolio is the check from Extreme Style by VO5, the grand prize of $100,000. <laughs> Congratulations, you are America's most smartest model. My mother is what who told me, if given an opportunity, VJ, you can accomplish anything. And I have been given an opportunity, and I conquered it. And I'm so thankful for everybody who believes in me. I am America's most smartest model. Yes! I rocket life. <laughs> well, I'm going to miss all these guys. I got to love every one of them. I mean, Mandy Lynn, Rachel Myers, Jessie. obviously, Jesse. Every I got to love every Pickle. one of them, and I think of them all as family. And uh, I hope our paths cross again. And, and I hope that. Uh, we get to see them and that they change and grow and all become successful. And you know what? I think every one of them will. Absolutely. I think everyone who was on this show was a winner, especially you. You too, Ben. It's Thank such you. a pleasure to work with you. Thank you.